This program is brought to you by Emory University. Views of Rome is a project that draws on the expertise of faculty in the Art History Department, Collections and Marble, the research of graduate and undergraduate students, and the work of DISC team members and librarians. The project got started when faculty members Eric Varner and Sarah McPhee of the Art History Department approached DISC, the Digital Scholarship Commons, about doing something with the map Marble had acquired by Piero Ligoria. Made in 1561, the map is a representation of classical Rome. Ligorio drew it based on the buildings that he could see at his time, as well as the historical research that he conducted, looking at coins, frescoes, and uh, other works. One of the things that was interesting to our scholars were Ligorio's mistakes. Things that we now know are, uh, were different than people actually thought they were in the Renaissance or the coins themselves got wrong. Our first task was to digitize the map. You can see here uh, that uh, this map is made up of large squares. Each one of these uh, rectangular areas is actually probably two by two feet. And this makes the entire map conference table sized. So the, our, the library's digitization team uh, used our uh, high-end camera to take pictures and once it was digitized the geospatial librarian Michael Page worked to stitch the map sections together. We then loaded the map into a tool called DeepZoom which allows us to explore the map at very high detail. Here I'm going to make it full screen so it's easier to see. So you can scroll around and zoom in and out with uh, the mouse scroll wheel if I come in here on uh, the, the Amphitheatrum Flavium, or as we commonly call it, the Colosseum, you can actually see the horses above the entryway in far better detail than if you were actually looking at the maps in person. Uh, if you had a magnifying glass, you could go over it and see the same sort of detail that we were able to see on the map now that it's scanned in. So, uh, sort of tremendously wonderful interface for exploring the object uh, and seeing it all of a piece and just sort of admiring the artistry of Ligorio. To start uh, presenting the research that was being done on the map, our development team then designed an interactive interface that allows you to see different monuments in the city color-coded by their function. And I'm going to turn that on over here under the categories. These are the uh, beginning areas we've been working on. So clicking on a particular building will zoom you in and show you the beginning of the article. You could click to it from there, but you can also come up to the header and find a list of all of the different articles that are being uh, developed at the moment. Many of them at the moment are in progress from the work of Dr. Varner's class from fall 2012. But uh, if you look at the Amphitheatrum Castrense, you can see some of what the content will look like. We're going to have images of the monument and different objects related to it as well as a scholarly article with links um, to various features about it, quotations. And at, each article draws on the growing collection of Rome materials from marble to provide several different quote-unquote views of the particular feature of Rome. So in this way you can go and look at, uh, you can find these books and see where else this particular monument has been referenced in our collection as well as the primary sources that were drawn upon for the article. So in this way, one can see how the Amphitheatrum Castrense was seen differently throughout the centuries. And that is the Views of Rome. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.